The jungle is a place of mystery with unanswered questions that boggle the mind. How does he do that? How do they eat that? <laughs> what is that smell? And is he talking to a volcano? How can you be bored? You're a volcano. Me? Why is this my problem? You what? It boggles the mind. I'm afraid his mind is already boggled. More ink! Oh! about you, Daddy? Don't worry about me. Worry about the volcano. He is not well. <laughs> now everyone will believe me when I say you are a loopy chuckle brain. <laughs> ah, you missed. I only got ten points. <laughs> Laugh all you want. The volcano is bored. <laughs> In fact, just for fun, he's thinking of covering us all with lava and starting over. Volcanoes do not talk. They do not get bored. They do not have feelings. Unless we can find a way to cheer him up, he will explode. Hmm. Oh, George could tell him some jokes. Maybe do some magic. Observe. <laughs> George, I want you to gather together everyone in the jungle. What are we going to do, Daddy? We are going to put on a show. <laughs> Loopy chuckle brain. Ow! <laughs> <sighs> now this you don't see in the city. Mankind and animals working together, putting on a show to make a mountain happy. <laughs> Charles, you must go now. No, stay. Go. Wait. Stay. Uh, why is Magnolia telling that tree to leave? <laughs> Tree, leave! <laughs> She's acting, George. It's where you change the way you talk and move. And become a whole different person. <laughs> ah! What did you do with me? Come back to me! George! He's acting! Leave! Oh, good acting. Uh, but I still think we should try telling the volcano some jokes. <laughs> Polly, you want a cracker. I want a cracker. Let's run off together and have a cracker. Next! Uh, shouldn't we be just a little nicer? Okay. Can you guess who this is? Oh, do not wake me when I'm sleeping, or I become a horrible, horrible monster! <laughs> it's Ursula. Next! I just love bananas of above. We must be bananas to fall in love. <laughs> yeah! Cookie! <clears throat> Volcanoes and gentlemen! Next! What's big? Next! Ugly? Next! Use lava! Thank you! And, and where's the big dress? A volcano in a big dress! <laughs> Don't call us! We'll call you! They're gonna call me! 
Magnolia, that is so great. You got the lead part of the volcano princess. Do you think I got it because I'm the only one that fits the dress? Sure. Being the director's daughter had nothing to do with it. Must be some mistake. George not seeing George's name on the cast list. <laughs> 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 George, there isn't a pie for you. But one of the main characters is the king of the jungle. We cast that already. Oh, you gotta let George be in Volcano Pageant. George, I had to pick who I thought could save the jungle best. Nobody saves the jungle better than George. Can't I do something? No. Aha! Hey, I can even be guard number six. How about it? Hey! Please! Oh, oh, Woody. Well, all right. <laughs> Creatures of the jungle, do you not tremble at my scariness? <laughs> George! <laughs> George! <laughs> Bully wants a stretcher. Oh, oh look at him. <laughs> Do you dare to challenge me to a fight? Guards! We got something new for you to do in the volcano pageant. Really? What is it? Sit in the audience. <gasps> and play the part of the guard in the audience? Uh, yeah. Yay! <laughs> the show's about to start. Shouldn't you be I'm sitting in the front row? I'm too nervous. What if George forgets not to say one of his lines he doesn't have? Oh, you'll be fine. Right. Uh, good luck, everyone. Ah! Oops. Sorry. Good thing Swole and Ivy there to break your fall. What? <laughs> we have to cancel the show. We can't cancel the show. Well, I can't go out there like this. Ursula. You'll have to play the princess. I don't know the lines. Oh, George sat through all the rehearsals. George knows the princess's lines. You do? So, can George be Volcano Princess? Absolutely not. <laughs> do you want the red wig or the blonde one? Greetings, gentle jungle creatures. It is I, the beautiful Volcano Princess, here to, <clears throat> here to dance for you. This is embarrassing. <laughs> the volcano is not entertained. Well, what do you want? You want it scarier, funnier? Just tell me. Tell me what you want already. <laughs> Dangerous. George can handle this. I just can't believe he looks better than me in that dress. Okay, George, uh, go for it. Uh, oh, mighty and powerful volcano. Oh, we're doomed. <laughs> it's working. Oh, uh, well, wait, if you think that's funny, listen to this. Why did the villagers wear red running shoes? To run away from the lava? <laughs> hey, that joke is hot, huh? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Who's this? I'm bored. Arr, I'm gonna explode. <laughs> Thank you. George. George. George! <laughs> okay, what do you get when you cross molten rock with an iceberg? Good one! <laughs> How much longer is this gonna go on? 
until the volcano says to stop. Oh, 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 okay, 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 okay. Uh, did you hear the one about the pig who didn't want to build his own house? So, so he hired a boa constructor. <laughs> okay, 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 got one. Okay, knock, knock. When you live in the jungle, you've got to be on guard for dangers at all times. Especially at lunchtime. Hey, haven't you got some carcasses to pick at? Hey, not the sandwich. Take the rice pudding instead. He could do the things that Tookie's supposed to do. George, need I remind you that some creatures are meant to fly, like birds and bugs, but others aren't, like you and me. Maybe not you, but George is not going to take not being able to fly sitting down. <sighs> if you insist. Keep your eyes on the sky. Are you all right? We need softer dirt. <laughs> okay, I think she's ready to go. Roger, that. We need a softer cliff. <laughs> George, this is never gonna work. <laughs> it is working. Look at me. I'm flying. <laughs> Look at me! I'm falling! <laughs> oh, George needs a new plan. <laughs> so George's new plan called for him to do something so strange, so odd, his friends could not believe their eyes. George, are you reading? Hmm. Aha! His plan led him to that rarest of jungle insects, the eagle tick. There you go, my little parasitic buddy. Welcome to George's head. Ow! George, why were you reading this chapter on the eagle tick? <laughs> oh, I don't really remember. What's an eagle tick? It's a tiny little bug that has a body of a tick, but a wingspan of an eagle. George, I hope you didn't let one of those bite you. I'm not saying I did. <laughs> then I'm not saying I was. George can fly. I I'm flying. I'm flying. <laughs> oh, this is the happiest day of George's Yo, oh, George has had enough flying now. Uh, home is that way. Ow! 
didn't realize flying would hurt head and butt so much. Well, you shouldn't be playing with bugs you don't know anything about. I read the bug book. Well, you know, maybe just the pictures, but anyway, George is done with flying. <laughs> ah. Hmm. Hmm. Ah. The eagle tick has buried itself deep inside your head, and it will not let go. But it could be worse. It could be eagle tick mating season. Uh, when is mating season? Well, my watch is a little slow, but I'd say... Now! <laughs> George, your eagle tick must have attracted these others. I was bending over when the bugs flew in, okay? Please tell George the worst is over now. Yeah, uh, not exactly. What? <laughs> you see, well, uh, they have this mating dance. <laughs> yep, I'm definitely gonna barf. <laughs> <sighs> Isn't it romantic? No. Didn't you read what the book said? Oh, uh, were there pictures? As part of the mating dance, the eagle ticks would carry their host to the nearest volcano and drop us in. Oh, that's not very romantic. <laughs> I've got the book right here. It says the eagle tick's only enemy is something called Tucaris Berduzzi. Sounds big and ferocious. George, it's Tookie Tookie Bird. Tookie Tookie! George's hero. <laughs> Three cheers for Tuki. Hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! Hello, I am Dr. Towel Scott. You may know me from the George of the Jungle show on which I play Dr. Towel Scott. Tick bites are no laughing matter. Take the squirrel tick. Just as dangerous as the eagle tick, but twice as furry. Ow! Excuse me. 
Excuse me. You must wear long sleeves and insect repellent to avoid such nasty bugs as the moose tick, the elephant tick, Ow. the porcupine tick, Ow. the walrus tick, Ow. and... Huh? Hey! Why, you little... <laughs> <laughs> In the jungle, hit boy, hit boy. nothing is more heartwarming than the love between a boy and his <laughs> dolls. <laughs> huh, strange. Somebody keeps stealing inside part of banana. Go get the banana! Go get the banana! Look out! The top of HQ has been destroyed! Who did it, Corporal? An elephant! The one belonging to George! King of the jungle! Good job, Shep. One last throw. Aw, who's cute? Aunt Eater is. Are you ticklish, Aunt Eater? Shep, George played with you all morning. Now it's Aunt Eater's turn. <laughs> Shep, it's not nap time. We have to take this little guy home. Hmm. There you go. I'll bet your mom has a nice warm batch of ants at home. Ah. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Baby ant eater, George told you to go home. Oh, George sucker for big eyes. In life and in art. George will keep him as a pet. Huh? George, you already have two pets. And you have a hard enough time taking care of them. But you'll be a good playmate for Shep. <laughs> Shep, play nice. This little fella's part of our family now. George will call him Shep. Uh, George, that name is taken? Oh, right. Then how about Little Shep? <laughs> is this really necessary? Anteater needs to rest his little paws. <laughs> Let's go, Shep. <laughs> Whoop, we can't forget Little Shep. <laughs> George and Shep and Baby make three. Help! Help! Stairs, Shep! Stairs! Help! Oh. 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 Shep, be more careful. Shep! From now on, little Shep comes with George on all rescues. We want to see the little baby. Aww. <laughs> Shep, can you move a little bit? You're locking this cutie. We got you some treats. And a pretty collar. And a sweater for those chilly jungle nights. Aw, he likes you. <laughs> oh, you brought him back. Hey, let go! Hey, oh. I think little Shep wants a snack. Okay, but just hey. one. Hey, George. Uh, George, fine. 
think I'll go to doctor and get a new shoulder. Yay! We'll babysit Mr. Cute Stuff. We will? Yes. <clears throat> okay, sweetie stuff. Time for a scrubby scrub. <laughs> <laughs> We got soap in our eyes. Cute. I think he's getting a two. Yeah. Oh, I can confirm that. Ooh. Must be why he's so cranky. I know what'll relax him. A jungle lullaby. Something for little Shep's teething. I suggest good old fashioned hypnosis. Rubbish. He just needs a little numbing gel. I'll prove this works. I'll prove it doesn't work. Well, I'll prove this doesn't work. See? I am at your command. I am at your command. This one says baby medicine. Uh, let's see, may cause drowsiness. Oh, well, that wouldn't be so bad. <laughs> open up. <laughs> Just open your mouth like this. would never do that. It's true. He's evil. George can't hear you. George can't hear you. Also, can't smell you. George, <laughs> take your fingers out of your nose and listen. Wait. What's that sound? Hmm. It's either a parade or an attacking army of ants. <laughs> Oh, shoot. I love parades. There's too many of them! Shep will rescue us! Go get him!
George is proud of you. Oh, you too, little chap. There you go. Here's your mommy. Oh, you are so grounded, young man. Good doggy. <laughs> Of the many terrors in the jungle, one is so horrible. Oh. It makes kings of the jungle weak need. Oh. 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 Jungle cleanup day! Huh. The animals in this place are pigs. George, pigs are usually very tidy, just not during the playoffs. Hmm. Weird shaped fruit. Hmm. Oh. Not fruit. A seashell. What's a seashell? Seashells are things people collect for some reason. If you hold a seashell up to your ear, you hear the ocean. Hey, buddy, put me in your pocket nice and easy and act like nothing's wrong. It's talking to me! Yes, it's the sound of the ocean. Pretty neat, huh? I said, put me in your pocket. <laughs> Habitat for two manatees is such a good cause. Where shall we have them put the bathroom? How about right here? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. What does Ocean want? Oh, really? <clears throat> George spent all morning holding that shell to his ear. <clears throat> Where did he find a shell around here anyway? Uh, it was just lying on the ground. I told him if he listened to it, he'd hear the ocean. George has never been to the ocean, but now, thanks to that shell, he knows what it sounds like. Then you're gonna call me a small, very comfy couch. Comfy couch? With a footrest and a maple dresser and a tiny hammock of the finest silk. And you know what happens if you don't. <clears throat> George's head will fall off. Right, and don't forget it. George! Uh, can I help you? We were wondering if you were gonna help us lift these rocks. <clears throat> Oh, just a sec. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. No. Uh-huh. Okay. Only silk George could find was an Ursula's scarf. Can't take that. Oop! George's going through a tunnel! I might lose you! Ah! Yeah, uh-huh. Sure. Yeah, I know. Okay. So, George, uh, you must really like the sound of ocean waves. Not waves. Ocean talks to George. Listen. Loosh. Whoosh. Whoosh. See? Get 120 feet of wood, 15 foot of rope, a brown bag lunch, and a root beer with a lid on it. Oh, hold on, hold on. Ape, do you have some paper? I have to write this stuff down. Oh, really? I can do that. George! This rock's telling you to build my kid a tree fort. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, and this piece of bark's talking to me. Wait, it says, make me a three-masted schooner out of Brazil nuts. <laughs> Great. Mocking turtle. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh! Hey, he forgot to set place for ocean. Uh-huh. Okay. George, could you pass the potatoes? <laughs> His hearing seems fine. Right! Ah, <laughs> no problem, Gravy. Have you taken any bite force lately, George? Nope. Just crashed into lots of trees like normal. Eat quick. George has lots of stuff to make and build and sew and finish. Oh, I think my spoon may be dirty. George, what do you think? Yeah, it looks pretty clean from here, but George has been very, very busy. I might not be seeing straight. What George needs is a quick ear cleaning. 
What he needs is the ancient wheel of snake teeth and pigeon feathers. <laughs> Three out of five witch doctors recommend it. Get away from him, you primitive shaman! Please, don't squeeze the shaman! <laughs> Hey, hey! Come on, let's go, go, go! <laughs> George followed all Ocean's instructions. Uh, what you want with this big springy thingy anyway? No questions! Now double check the coordinates and pull the lever. Hey, you've got earrings just like Magnolia and a scarf just like Ursula. Uh, must be a fan. Everybody's got the same look. Pull the lever! But, uh, what about George's head? What? Oh, yeah. Uh, just keep it out of the sun and use conditioner. Your head will be fine. Yeah! <laughs> George, have you seen my earrings? Or my scarf? Oh, somebody took them! No, uh, but when Ocean left, he had some just like them. A seashell had earrings? And you're saying the Ocean left? That's why George had to make Ocean the springy thingy. Did, did my head fall off? George, we'd love to believe a seashell told you to build a catapult, but... Do you think George is... <gasps> Lying? Oh, well, not lying, lying. No, George, just lying, lying. But for a good reason, <laughs> probably. George is not a liar! <laughs> <laughs> Have to find Ocean. Make it tell friends that George isn't lying. <laughs> George! <laughs> So, this hawk flies me away from here and drops me in the jungle. The jungle! Wow. Luckily, I find this knucklehead who I can get to make me this deluxe furniture. I do love this couch. Thanks, Wobble Eyes. Ocean! Uh-oh. Go! <laughs> oh, ocean! 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 Great. So in order to find George, we're going to climb into this contraption and fling ourselves to who knows where? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Let's get this over with. Hello? Hello? Ocean? Hey, George! <laughs> Glad you can make it. Oh, Ocean, friends think George is a liar. I have to take Ocean back to show them I'm not. Whoa, big guy. No more travel for me. Look, if everyone makes fun of you, why go back? Stay here! You can get me some berries and spiders. It'll be fun. But my friends... Hey, you don't want your head to fall off, do ya? <laughs> the berries and spiders coming up. I can't see. We're at a beach. It's covered with crabs. You know how Mike and Betty Oyster always wanted to adopt? Ah, yes. Magnolia, your pearl earrings. Where? Where? All right, who ordered grapes? Who had the spiders? <laughs> and who ordered the sea scum smoothie? Hurry it up, Stretch. Are you going to build a small furniture or aren't you? And sweep up this sand, huh? And hang up a sunshade, huh? <gasps> Don't believe it. Conniving crabs? George was telling the truth the whole time. That's embarrassing. Ape, get us over there now! Uh. <laughs> Look, Ocean, George has done many things for you, and even though I don't want my head to fall off, you gotta come back with me and tell my friends that I was telling the truth. No, I ain't going nowhere with you. Crabs attack! <laughs> You're not so tough now, huh? Leave him alone. <gasps> A 
talking tree. The jungle is angry. You must return, George. With my earrings and the scarf. With the earrings and the scarf. Ooh, these trees walk pretty good. Look, tree. We're just simple crabs with some nice furniture. What do you want from us? <laughs> When are you going to tell George that it's us in here? When we're a little closer to home. Mush! Or your heads will fall off! Oh, Daddy, oh, Bailey, oh, Claudia, oh, Dixit, oh, Shelly, oh, Dolly, oh, The darkest jungle, a land without mercy, all cream cheese. Uh, how is your bagel? I could use something on it. But these mighty beasts aren't the only ones having a bad brunch. Oh, empty plate! George's favorite. George! Help! There's no cucumber for my eyes, no beets for my hair rinse, and no carrots for my self tanner! Uh, and there's also no more food. Well, there's plenty of food if you eat like a termite. <laughs> yeah, it needs some cream cheese. And so, our unfed friends set out to find their missing vegetables. Ever notice from a height all trees look like juicy, delicious broccoli? Like Magnolia's fingernails, our hungry heroes press on. The trail of stems leads this way. Look! George, you found a huge edible mushroom! No! George found a big leaf shaped like a ducky. <laughs> quack, quack! I am a ducky! <laughs> oh! Wow, Ursula's right. Oh, look what George found. Mmm, mushroom. Who dares disturb me? Come no closer or face the wrath of my loyal army. An army of eggplants. They have been trained in the fearsome art of food jitsu. By me, the Veggie Master, King of the Jungle! <laughs> Good one, yeah. The Veggie Master can't be the King of the Jungle. That's George's job. <laughs> Nonsense. Watch this video. Born in a cabbage patch and raised by radishes. Aww. The Veggie Master grew up learning the secrets of vegetables and how to speak their language. On his 21st birthday, the vegetables crowned him king! Oh, that's nothing! Ursula and April tell you George's amazing story. George was raised by apes. Nothing much happened until he was seven, when he almost choked on a peanut. And the mighty creatures of the jungle made him their king. You're the king. That's your presentation? Well, uh, George can talk to animals. You talk to the animals, eh? How quaint. Well, I can talk to the vegetables! Oh, really? You didn't. <laughs> you naughty bean. Man, this guy's nuttier than a nut tree with nuts on top. And since there are more vegetables than animals, it appears I am the king of the jungle. Huh, you can't argue with his Maya. He kinda has a point. And he is kinda cute. <laughs> so I said, I'm okay. I always cry at onion weddings. 
Ha ha! Ha ha ha! I wish you lived closer so you could teach us some of your wisdom. Move closer. A tempting proposition. My subjects will build me a gleaming palace in your midst. But we're using our meds. But until it's completed. Tucky, tucky! This letter is addressed to King of the Jungle. It's not polite to eat other people's mail. My mail! George is King of the Jungle. <laughs> Don't be silly. Out! Oh, when will he build his great palace and just go live in it? You can ask him yourself at our Meet the Veggie Master party tonight. What? Oh. Quiet, everyone. The cauliflower needs to concentrate. Now, concentrate on the card you selected. Was it the Three of Clubs? <gasps> it was! Tookie, <laughs> tookie. Ah. George is not jealous, no way! Only sad that friends were fooled by such a phony. Aha! Guys, guys! A light bulb in the jungle. How oh, many years of searching for a porch are over? Doggone it. George challenges the veggie master to a race. My fastest animal against his fastest vegetable. <gasps> <gasps> whoever wins is the true king of the jungle. And whoever loses has to wear a sign on their back saying Big Jerky Bottom. You are on! <laughs> George chooses the cheetah. It can run 70 miles an hour. <gasps> and, representing the winning side, a potato. The world's most versatile side dish. Rounders on your marks. Get set! Veggie Master? Aren't you gonna command your potato to race the cheetah? <laughs> I can't! I'm a fake! I'm a fraud and a fake, and now everyone knows it! <laughs> You saw through me. You have the wisdom of a turnip and the keen insight of a corn cob. You truly are the king. How do you spell jerky bottom? When you're alone in the jungle as long as I've been, you just start talking to anyone who will listen. I'm sorry, what? If you don't want to be my friend, just say so. Say you don't want me to be your friend. Say it! 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 You help! Oh, why me? <laughs> because a true king has compassion. Under enormous pressure, George puts on his thinking lips. <laughs> Luckily for George, tragedy strikes. The giant mushroom heads straight for... The Penning Bridge in the super cute panda village! There's a giant mushroom heading for the cute baby pandas? My lips just had an idea! Oh dear, Veggie Master, you must save the baby pandas! Mama? Command the mushroom to stop its deadly rampage. 
But I told you, I have no real powers. I don't even have a green thumb. Meanwhile, beneath the rampaging fungus... Come on, I know you got it in you. Oh, it's not gonna help, but... <sighs> Mushroom, I command you to miss the bridge. You did it! I did do it, didn't I? I ruled that veggie! I had you going with the crybaby act, but this is the real me! The Veggie Master is back! And so, as the strange man who talks to vegetables dances into the sunset, Ape adds this epic tale to the official history of the true king of the jungle. It's Mantler, the man with antlers. He tosses evildoers like a chef tosses a salad. He headbutts criminals like a righteous goat. And he gives bad guys hard to follow directions to banks. <laughs> oh, boy. George, long day tomorrow. Turn out the light. Mantler only turns out evil doers' lights. Yeah, but after that, he goes to sleep, right? Mantler never sleeps. His roommate must be thrilled. Why do they put these factory outlet malls so far away from everything? That's why they call this bargain hunting. George doesn't get shopping. Don't you want to buy things? George only wants the new Mantler comic, issue 107, Mantler's Difficult Decision, with special appearances by Gail, the gal with a tail. Molten lava, well, that's just great. Mantler would make still. <laughs> I burned out blister, oh, singe, no! Maybe George could toss the girls over, same way Mantler tosses evildoers out of Jungle Tropolis. Is anyone else a little tired of hearing about a certain comic book? George is tired in issue 102. Check the map for a shortcut. Hmm. <gasps> Mantler always says, you're never lost as long as you're with happy friends. <laughs> you're never lost as long as you're with happy friends. <laughs> Mantler's antlers start twitching when he's going the wrong way. Ow! But George has is a leg cramp. No more Mantler! My feet hurt because I didn't get to shop for new hiking boots. Sure wish George looked at that map. Sure wish George knew what Mantler's difficult decision is. Sure wish George... Wow! A falling star! Aw, pretty. George wishes a star would fall every night. You say a big fiery rock crushed your house. All right, where did this rock come from? The sky! Uh, that sky? How'd you guess? Sounds a lot like the falling star George saw last night. The first one to see a falling star gets their wish. Did you wish for anything? Aw, oh, George should have wished for the new Mantler comic book instead of a star to fall every night. Every night, huh? <laughs> Interesting. What are the chances of a house that small being hit by a shooting star? George's wish came true, another one would have fallen last night and somebody would have seen it and... made the wish. Hey, sorry I didn't get a hold of you. I've been wiring the games room with surround sound all morning. Where did this all come from? I stayed up last night waiting for George's shooting star and blood out! Oh, hey, guys, help yourself to the swimming pools. <laughs> Last night's shooting star destroyed the gorilla's soccer field. George, do you know what this means? Uh, someone's gonna have to teach them basketball? It means, thanks to your wish, stars will fall every night until someone wishes for them to stop. <laughs> That's a relief. Finding basketball shoes to fit a gorilla is impossible. 
Later that night... Hey, that must have been the star. Ooh, I hope it didn't hit Mongoose's swimming pool. <laughs> the hippo health spa's been destroyed! That's not fair. I had a yoga class. Dudes, check me out! Yo, someone chipped Louie's ride. I kind of <laughs> saw that star last night. Couldn't help myself, sorry. But look at this, baby! Video console in every seat and... An onboard frozen yoga dispenser! Oh, termite and earthworm swirl. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have we forgotten we're trying to stop giant fiery meteors from destroying the jungle? But look at all the cup holders. <sighs> I'll sit up tonight with my dad's telescope and straighten this whole thing out. It's not what you think. Satellite TV brings us weather reports and, um, news of... What time is it? My soap opera is about to start. Everybody out! I don't want you to see me cry. Okay. I guess it's up to me to handle this once and for all. Gee, Magnolia, glad to see you took care of things. I couldn't help it. A walk-in closet with robotic shoe storage? With temperature control and a frozen yogurt dispenser. <laughs> Someone has to show a little backbone around here. Hmm. Well, that leaves out the slugs and worms. I meant me. I'm gonna wish for these stars to stop coming tonight. I'm the only one with any willpower around here. I'm the mayor of Banana Mountain! Whee! And so, night after night, and falling star after falling star, no one in the jungle had the strength to stop them. <laughs> George, you got us into this. You're going to have to get us out of it. Oh, it's that bad, huh? Uh, must stay awake. Must wish for shooting stars to stop and not frozen yogurt. Antler? Hello, George of the Jungle. It is I, Mantler, the man with antlers. You look tired. I know all about tired. Remember when I fought the gazelle twins? Who knew there were three of them? Oh, sure was a great comic. Would you happen to have a copy of the, the latest one? Sorry, sold out. The only way you could get one would be if you had a... I don't know, a magic wish or something? <laughs> oh, can you just tell George what your big decision was? It was about responsibility. I think you know something about that too, George. It was my best issue ever. Well, I'm off to fight for steadfastness and responsibility. Maybe get a burger. Best issue ever. <laughs> best issue ever. Best issue ever. Best issue ever. Responsibility. Best issue ever. Responsibility. Oh. George wishes for... Oh, Mantler and... George, no! Ape, what are you doing up here? And where'd you get those cool antlers? I'm not Ape, George. I'm your conscience. Wow. Where'd George's conscience get those cool antlers? George, as your conscience, we demand that you wish for no more shooting stars. Boy. Bossy conscience. George! Are you having visions of everyone but me? Wish wisely, George. <gasps> I should mention that issue 107 is probably my best flight sequence ever. And the puppy I save is adorable. What does George do? What does George do? <laughs> George will wish for the new man. Mantler. Mantler. George wishes for. Uh, 
So, George, how did it go? It, it went okay. Yeah! All right! We knew you could do it. No more wishing stars from now on. Actually, not just from now on. What do you mean? Uh, George wished he'd never seen Shooting Star in the first place. But that would undo everyone's wishes. My closet! <laughs> 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 George sort of feels sorry for the animals. Uh, it's all for the best. Probably. Maybe one of them will see another shooting star someday. <laughs> hey, Chef, what you got there? Is that... <gasps> that looks like a genie's magic lamp! <laughs> Wait a minute. Ship, that means you have two more wishes. 